Hey team, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we're going to be generating all the prime numbers less than 16 million. I'll be using Microsoft Excel's VBA. Let us write some VBA code that will generate prime numbers. So we start off and we say sub main. This is just, you can call it whatever you want. And then uh, we're going to declare dim worksheet as worksheet set ws equals worksheets. And it's asking kind of like, what is this name right here? So you type in a sheet one here. All right, excellent. And then what we're going to do is we're going to be doing uh, two for loops. For i equals one, two, two, some number. Next, i. I'm going to introduce a number and I'm going to explain what this means. So this number right here represents the number of numbers I have to go through to fill up this spreadsheet, notice the maximum is a little bit over 1 million rows. So this is the number that will generate prime numbers all the way down to this, this number here. You can hit end up to go to the first sheet, the cell, and then end down to go to the bottom. So that's our outside loop. Now once we're inside of our inside loop, we're going to say for j equals 2 to the uh, math dot square root of i and we'll say uh, next j there and what we'll probably do is uh, make this so it's kind of like easier to read and you know like uh, we'll compute that number is how about we uh, say sq equals the math dot sqr of i and then i'll say sqr here it's just kind of like if this is your first time seeing vba just make it easier for you okay and uh so now that we're inside of here we've got to keep declaring variables as we go along so we'll say dim i as long you can put it all on one line i normally don't do that j as long and now dim sq as long so you can see this outer loop i'm going to do it and then for each of the square root of what i is i'm going to figure out is that number prime or not now what we can do here on the before we get into the big test the j loop we can say is prime is true and then we have to declare that dim is prime as boolean and this is kind of like a, we're setting it and here my goal is to uh to prove that it is not a prime so how do we do that so what we're going to say here is we're going to say n equals i mod j and then if n equal equals zero then for every if you have an end if and then we're going to say is prime is false and we're going to get out of this for loop and we have to say exit four now what does this mod mean that means i'm going to divide i by j and the mod gives me the remainder so i'm going to put that in n and let's Make another variable here, dim n as long. And what this is, if this is zero, that means it's divisible by more than just one in itself. So it is not prime. And then we're going to get out of this loop. Now, if we finish this loop and I never do do this is prime as false, we have to do one more test here. We say if is prime equal true, then and if. And then we say ws.cells row comma one equals i. Now row is actually each one of these. These represent rows. And we have to declare that as a variable. So we're going to say dim row as long. And then I have to initialize that row. I say row equals one. And then notice here, when I set that to one, I somehow have to increment that. So I have to say row equals row plus one now remember a lot of the numbers that we generate are going to be false and it'll never come into this so we only increment this when it's a prime number and uh, so this is our loop and when i'm done with this outer loop i want to say message box done kind of get that done now there is a maximum number of rows and so see this a uh, little little over a million if we increase this number and we go even one more, this will blow up. It'll come up and say uh, undefined reference or some crazy thing like that. So this right here is our program. Keeping it simple. And uh, 
let me not do that big number at first. Let me just do, uh, how about we just do uh, 100? Make sure uh, all our logic is, is good. So I'm gonna hit the uh, go button and done and home and and those are all the prime numbers uh, less than 100. Now I'm gonna go for the kill. I'm gonna go for the uh, 16 million. Now this is gonna take one minute and uh, some seconds, but uh, when I make the video, I'm gonna speed that up. But here we go, ready? One, two, three, go. And we're, we're off. And we're done. And then we can come over here and go to the very bottom and take a little look-see. And notice we have all our prime numbers. We filled up an entire, all the rows in Microsoft Excel. And there you have it. This is the routine. The source code is available for you in comments below. Uh, please download that and see how long it takes to run on your computer. And that's all I have, team. Thanks for taking the time to view this video. Please leave a comment. If you enjoyed the video, a thumbs up. And of course, if you have not subscribed, we would appreciate that. Have a great week.